ready to talk wicked. Everyone's buzzing about this new movie. Especially those early reactions, right? Like, can it live up to the hype? Wicked's a huge deal on Broadway. No kidding, so expectations are sky high. Yeah, we'll be looking at what the critics are saying. Focusing on the performance. <laughs> and the visuals, which I hear are pretty spectacular. Let's start with the casting, because Ariana Grande as Glinda and Cynthia Erivo as Elphaba, that's got to be drawing people in. Oh, absolutely. Those are big names. But the word is they're not just relying on star power. They're actually delivering. I was going to say, what are the critics saying about their performances? They're getting tons of praise, both of them. Grande is apparently hilarious as Glinda, but she also brings a surprising, like, vulnerability to the role. Interesting. And Erivo. Well, she's known for that incredible voice, and she's really bringing it to Elphaba, that raw emotional power, you know? Makes her fierce, but also sympathetic. Sounds like they're both crushing it. Yeah, and, you know, it's not just them. Jonathan Bailey and Ethan Slater are also getting a lot of praise for their roles. So the whole cast is bringing their A-game. Seems like it, which is great to see. Now we have to talk about the visual aspect. Yeah. Because Wicked is known for its over-the-top sets and costumes. Is the movie living up to that? It sounds like it. All the sources are describing the visuals as a feast. Okay, so elaborate sets, dazzling costumes. Exactly, making it a really immersive experience. It's staying true to the stage production, but also it's got its own cinematic flair. What strikes me is how they've blended the iconic elements from the 1939 Wizard of Oz with these modern filmmaking techniques. You get that nostalgia, but it also feels fresh, right? Totally, like they found that sweet spot. And you know, it's not just about spectacle either. John M. Chu, the director, he's known for his visuals. Oh yeah, crazy rich Asians in the heights, lots of visual flair. Exactly, but he also has a knack for capturing those raw emotions and telling stories that really connect on a human level. And it sounds like he's bringing that to Wicked too which is what could make it more than just a flashy adaptation. We've talked about the critics. Let's get into fan reactions. What's the buzz like? Social media is blowing up. Tons of love for the film, even comparisons to Chicago. Another musical that made a successful jump to the big screen. Right, so it seems like Wicked's capturing that same magic. That's great to hear. Hmm. But are there any negative reactions? There are a few, yeah. Some critics aren't thrilled about the decision to split the movie into two parts. Ah, uh, so they think the runtime for this first part is maybe a bit much. That's the gist of it, yeah. Drew Taylor from The Rap specifically mentioned the runtime. I guess we'll have to see if Wicked's story justifies that length. That's true. It's a complex story with a lot of layers. Maybe splitting it allows them to dive deeper into the themes and the characters. Okay, fair point. And honestly, who wouldn't want more time in Oz? Especially if it looks this good. Right. Plus, we got to talk about those Oscar whispers. Oh, yeah. Grande and Arrivo getting some serious awards buzz. It's interesting to see Grande step outside that pop star mold and show her range. So she's nailing the comedy, but also bringing depth to the role. That's what it sounds like. And Erivo, with that powerhouse voice and her raw emotion, it sounds like she's captivating as Elphaba. Amazing. Yeah. So Wicked's looking like a potential big hit, maybe even an awards contender. Potentially, yeah. It has the performances, the visuals, the beloved source material, definitely all the ingredients for a cinematic triumph. And don't forget the impact this film could have. It's a phenomenon already, yeah. but this adaptation could introduce a whole new generation to Wicked. It's true, a fresh take on a classic story told on this grand scale. Definitely exciting. It sounds like they've taken everything we love about Wicked and elevated it. Yeah, I'm intrigued. What about you? Oh, absolutely. It's not just a retelling. It's like a whole reimagining. Yeah, like it could redefine Wicked for people who've never even seen the Broadway show. Right. Reach a global audience. Exactly. Something a stage production just can't do. Plus, with the visuals, the star power, it's going to attract people who might not normally watch a musical. That's a good point, bridging the gap between stage and screen. And think about the cultural impact, you know? New conversations, interpretations, maybe a whole new wave of Wicked fandom. I'm already seeing so much online fan art, discussions, and the movie's not even fully out yet. It's like this new energy around Wicked. For sure. Yeah. Now, something I've been wondering about is how they'll handle those darker themes from the original story. Oh, yeah. Wicked's not all sunshine and rainbows, right? There's prejudice, corruption, that whole question of good versus evil. Definitely more than just a fairy tale. Right. So how do those translate to the big screen? How do they hit a wider audience? It'll be interesting to see. Especially with John M. Chu directing, he's known for those big visual spectacles. Crazy Rich Asians in the Heights. 
Yeah, but he also seems to have a talent for capturing those raw emotions. Like telling stories that really connect. Exactly. Mm. So finding that balance is key. Totally. It needs that heart, that depth to really work. It sounds like he might be the perfect guy for the job. Someone who can do the spectacle, but also understands the core of the story. Are you planning to see it? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm excited, but also a little nervous. Because you're a fan of the stage production. Yeah, high expectations, you know? But everything I'm seeing and reading, it seems like they're honoring the original, but also adding something new. I get it, I'm curious too. Plus, I mean, Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo singing those iconic songs. You can't beat that. That's what I love about Wicked, though. It works on so many levels. It's a spectacle, a fairy tale. It's got social commentary, but it's also about friendship, defying expectations. The celebration. Yes. And this movie has the potential to amplify all of that. Create something really memorable. Exactly. So... What stands out most to you about this adaptation? Is it the casting, visuals, that cultural impact we talked about? Honestly, it's all of it combined. The talent, the visuals, the excitement about this film reaching a global audience, sparking new conversations. It feels special. I agree. It all comes back to that question, will this film version actually surpass the Broadway show? Tough one. But it could happen, right? Potentially, it has the story, the cast, the visuals, a director who knows how to create magic on film, plus all this buzz that can really push a film into the cultural zeitgeist. And the nostalgia factor, years from now, people might look back on this film the way we look back on the 1939 Wizard of Oz. Right. It could become their classic. I can see it. Families watching it during the holidays. Just like those classic movie musicals. It has that timeless quality. You know, that transportation to another world. The magic. Exactly. And that's the power of a good story. It connects us, transcends generations. This wicked adaptation seems to get that. And that's what makes it exciting. It's more than just a movie. It's an event. It's generating a ton of discussion, that's for sure. So before we wrap up, I wanted to leave you with a final thought. Okay, lay it on me. What's the final thought? Well, we've talked about new audiences, awards, buzz, but what about, like, the long game? Long game. Yeah. Will this Wicked be a classic, you know, years down the line? Could it even be bigger than the Broadway show? Whoa, that's a tough one to call. I mean, it definitely has potential, right? We've talked about all the ingredients. The story, the cast, the visuals, the director. Right. And all that hype doesn't hurt. Exactly. A cultural moment like this can give a film real staying power. <laughs> Plus that nostalgia factor we talked about. Yeah. In the future, could this be people's Wizard of Oz, the one they grew up with? I can totally see it. Families watching it for the holidays, like a tradition. Like those classic movie musicals, it has that vibe. Totally. Timeless. Transports you to another world. The magic. And that's what good stories do, right? Connect us across generations. This wicked adaptation seems to be doing that. Which is what makes it so exciting. It's more than just a movie. It's an event. A moment. So what are you waiting for? Go see it. Form your own opinion. Yeah, check out Wicked and then come back and tell us what you thought. We'll be here, ready to dive into your reactions. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking those big questions, and keep diving deep.